when I was studying, I was very compliant. I did what I was told. Uh, and, you know, I had the feeling that the subject matter that I was, was studying was it's either right or wrong. And your job is to learn whether it's right or wrong. So my approach would be, you know, you tell me what you want me to study. You tell me the content. You tell me what I need to know. And then I will go back and study that. I didn't ask why. It wasn't in it wasn't part of my personality to question why. There's different types of people in the world. Some of them want to know the why of everything. You know, kind of like kids. Why? Why? Why is the sky blue? Why is grass green? Why does things work that way? Why don't cars fly? Why? 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 Um, and they're trying to make sense of the world around them. And in order to do that, they have to understand why. Why does it work that way? Why do we debit assets? Why do we credit liabilities? For me, it never occurred to me to ask that type of thing. You know, if you told me to debit assets, I'm like, yes, okay, that is what I will do. End of story. It didn't occur to me to ask. And if someone else in the class did ask, why? Why do we do that? Why should we do that? It was irritating for me. Like, they said it's debited. Move on. <laughs> There's no need for you to know that. Now, that was fine in earlier levels of my studying because... Um, it was very formulaic and very memory based. So it was like, if you tell me that, okay, fine, that's what I'll do. And it was always worked the same way and it was fine. In later levels of studying though, I did need to understand why. And it, it added much more value and it would have been easier to study if I did understand why. Because when we're trying to use information, if we understand why something works the way it does, before we just go, this is what you do, then it's a lot easier to use that information in different areas. When we look at how we learn and we look at mastering skills and knowledge, you're going to come across the fact that one of the most important things is to understand why. The why should come first. This is why we need this thing. This is why this exists. This is why we do this. And then this is how we do this. But I never needed that. I just wanted to be told how. This is how you do this. Okay. It doesn't matter why. In later levels, I needed to know why. Because people would present me with problems or case studies would present me with problems. And I couldn't just jump to this is how we'll solve the problem. This is the steps to take. I needed to understand the problem first. And the why became a lot more important. So my personality style... I struggled with later levels of studying because it didn't occur to me to ask why. Why do we do it that way? Why does it work that way? Why do we need that thing? It didn't occur to me. Different personality types, someone who spent earlier levels of their studying irritating me by continuously asking why, 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 they would have struggled less later on because their natural inclination of thinking was why? Why do we do that? Why does it work that way? Why does that thing exist? Um, and it's a very valuable tool in your studies. If it's not something you naturally ask yourself, learn to ask why. Why does it exist? Why does this thing exist? Why is it there? Because as a tool of understanding, it really helps us to understand why we're doing this thing, where it comes from, and that allows us to use it in different places. So in terms of my personality, my earlier levels of studying were a lot easier because, because I didn't ask why. I just did what I was told. My later levels of studying were more difficult because it didn't occur to me to ask why. And when someone did tell me why, I didn't really think it was that important. It was never as important as the how.